So here I am with a um, TR6 IRS repair um, stud for the uh, rear hubs. A lot of times these aluminum threads will strip out and these uh, studs pull out. Um, for some reason the factory used fine thread for these studs. There's nothing wrong with fine thread except in aluminum. Aluminum should be using coarse thread, but they don't on these for some reason. So a lot of times these strip. So we have a kit to drill out, tap, and re-tap these. Um, I've just done this one and I've got to put it on the car. But uh, I want to test the repair, which is using Keen Search or Lock Lock thread repair. They look like these. They're basically fixed Healy coils with a locking tab that sets it in place. It's especially good on aluminum so they don't rotate and anyway um, this is just an old spare Mark 1 Spitfire intake has a very similar casting to what the casting is on the on the arm so um, I've already drilled and tapped it drilled it with a size X drill bit and then I'm using a 716 by 14 uh, bottom end tap. So that's already been done. So all I have to do is screw this in. My hand. And I use this little tool, lock it in place. And basically what I want to do is I want to do a failure test to see how this pulls and holds. Um, here's another repair that I've done the new aftermarket water pump housings. Aluminum is great, saving weight. It's better actually save more weight on the pump itself, but the housing is pretty cheap. I actually bought this for when they first came out and imported it from England. But the problem is that these castings for the threads, again, they copied the factory, which used fine threads, but this, this, this wall is just too thin for fine thread. Uh, coarse would have been better for this, but I actually drilled and insert cane certs in here. So, um, of course, I haven't installed it and used it yet. This one's fine. This has a lot, a lot more material, but this, these are a lot too thin to be fine threaded tapped. So, anyway, that was another point. This has a lot of material. I don't think that's going to pull through or strip. Of course. But this is going to be a torque test to see the failure point. So this is the repair we used for the TR6. This is from Patton Machine. Uh, he does a lot of great work. This is great. So I'm just using this as a hole to pull this out so it doesn't... So it has room to pull and fail. So I'm just using a standard 5 16 fine grade 8 bolt. I think this is an inch and a half or two inches maybe. Um, so uh, the torque for those studs are about 16 pounds. So I'm going to go to 20 first and go to 30, then go to 40, then go to 50. And I want to see when and how it fails just because I'm curious. And I'm at the lowest setting on this torque wrench, which is 20. So let's go to 20. It's going to be hard to hear it click. Okay. 
Yeah, there's 20. 20 is fine. Let's go to 30. Let's see when this fails. Feels loose. Well, there's 30 right there. Let's go to 35 and see what happens. I think it's pulling out. Yeah, it's failing. Okay, right, let's stop there. Let's see if it's coming out halfway or what. So the max PSI I could pull on this was 30. It seems to be actually lifting. Pull this off. Of course, my phone doesn't want to focus, but you can actually see. It's actually pulling out. Let me put it back on and pull it till it full pulley. Leaf pulls out. I want to see. Well, let's see. Let's go back to 20 to see if it's actually reusable after it starts failing. Not only it will, but. Totally failing. Let's stop there. See how far it's come out. It's lifted out. It's uh, it's just pulling out. I couldn't even retorque it at 20. Let's just pull it all the way out. See what happens. So here it is, completely failed. So I was able to get 20 pounds and it reached 30. So that must have been the maximum. But um, tried to go to 35 and it was totally failing. So. Anyway, at least 20 pounds is fine. I would guess 25, but um, specs say 16 pounds in those studs, but um, just wanted to see what the max was.
to see what the failure was. And of course the failure is the aluminum, not the threaded insert or the bolt. So anyway, um, that's a successful test.